sorry, my daughter just slammed the door. So, um, yeah, I'm here, and I'm gonna wait for some of you guys to join me. I'm exhausted. My phone is all, all crooked. My phone is all crooked. Good thing because of my wire. All right, let's do this. Sorry, guys. I'm crooked shaped here. Hey, I'm trying to fix you. There you go. Okay. All right. I will wait for some people, and then I will do these boutonnieres. I'm exhausted, guys. How about you? Anyone else exhausted? Hey, Lisa. I'm so tired. I'm going to take a day off, like, tomorrow. Well, no, I'm going to clean my house. And then I'm going to take a day off. But is anyone else really, really tired? Anybody? All right. I see some people on. Um, we're going to do some boutonnieres today. We're going to do a one flower boutonniere and a two flower boutonniere. Yes. Yeah, Lisa, so what I usually do, so most of my bouquets are due on the 1st, or no, I have my um, contracts usually set on the 1st or the 15th, so I had like 3 million weddings due yesterday, so I didn't sleep very much, but then I usually take them the day off after that, so it's usually the 2nd or the 3rd that I take a day off, and I scrub my house, because my house gets to be a disaster, I scrub my house. And then I take a day off. So that is what I plan on doing. I don't know what I'm going to do with my dog. I'm going to like sit on the couch and not move. So good morning, everyone. Okay. So um, I'm going to start because I'm going to do a couple anyway. <clears throat> and people can join. Erica, did you share this in the group? Can you make sure that it's shared so that people know to come here? Sometimes um, people can't find the tutorials because... Um, they're not short page they're on so if you could share in the group so that people know I'm over here this flower has a little bit of a rip and then I will get started we will do our thing and then you guys can go make lots of boutonnieres I actually have like 20 boutonnieres to make today so um, usually I can do them pretty fast so it's not that big of a deal but I just gotta do them to do them so all right um, I'm gonna wait just another minute one more minute um, and then we will start um, let me tell you what supplies we have so this flower is bothering me because it has a broken edge. I don't know if I want to like cut it or fix it. Or if it's just not noticeable enough that it matters. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. So we are going to do a one flower boutonniere and we're going to do a two flower boutonniere. So in general, most of my groomsmen or fathers or any of that kind of stuff, they get one flower and the groom gets two. You could even do three flowers if you're going to do them a little bit smaller. Um, but in general, that's just how we work it. Is that the groom gets two. And then um, that makes them a little bit more special. They can put like a different color. Um, I usually try to include the raw flower in the groom. Just to bring the white in. You know, the bride is white. So um, I usually try to incorporate white so if they wanted like all pink roses then I'll put in um, his second flower will be um, a white mini so we'll go over what flowers are best to use and of course we're gonna go over what our flash flower sale is today so um today is the last day of doing like one flower day from the Fifth Avenue collection so Tom put together those um, Fifth Avenue assortments there's minis and then there's and um, the regular size um, assortments and so that's why we took um, each of the different types of um, flowers this week just so you can see a little bit about you know what's going to be in those so all 
All right, so today's flash flower sale is going to be the mum. And I just put some orange and red paint on it so you can see that you can paint them and dip them um, to be any color. Obviously mums usually are fall flowers, so they usually have um, orange or red. They have those purple mums. So today's flower, because we know a lot of you guys are getting ready for fall shows, um, are mums. And you can even just make, um, you know those dollar store tins? If you make a whole thing of mums, like that's obviously what's in for the fall. So here's the mum. The code is mum40, M-U-M 40, mum40. And um, they'll be 40% off just today, just till 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Same as it's been every day. Um, these will be on sale for 40% off the mums, okay? You definitely, if you have home decor, if you do fall things, you definitely want to be doing um, the mums. Let me just pin Erica's comment so that we can, come on, let me pin it, there we go. Okay, it's pinned, thanks Erica. So, Fifth Avenue Collection mums, 40% off, okay? All the information's there. Mums are the best. People need mums in their life, especially if you're doing fall decor. Okay, so we're gonna make one of our boutonnieres out of our mum. Again, I just did a little bit of orange and red just so it looked like a mum when we made this. Um, like a few minutes ago, I just threw on some paint. So, um, but you can dye them and you can do shading and you can hand paint and they'll be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, we need, for supplies, we have to have 18 gauge wire and you definitely want to have 18 gauge because it needs to be able to stand up pretty well. Hi, Danielle. You need to have floral tape, okay? You need to have your flower. You need to have, again, this is just a basic boutonniere. You can do whatever filler or greenery you want, but I'm just teaching you like the basic. Some greenery that's leafier and then some like fillery type stuff. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use out of it, but I have it here just in case. Okay. So the flash sale is for Mums 40% off from the Fifth Avenue Collection, Mum 40. Okay. And then I've got these guys um, and my greenery and my wire. So I'm going to stem my flower. Now the Mum has a pretty... Just joking. My hat glue again got pulled out of the wall. So hold on a second. Um... The mum had um, a pretty long back to it. If you get your mum, you'll see that it has a very long back. So for these um, boutonnieres, you're gonna have to trim that off if you're gonna use a mum for a boutonniere. Um, it's very, very thick. Um, no, is I don't think it is, um, Erica. You can check it, but I don't think it's still on sale. I mean, it's still great stuff, but I'm not sure that it's still on stuff. You can check that because it might not be. If it is, then it's not going to be for much longer. Okay, because we're getting a bunch of filler in um, that we're going to take pictures of and stuff. But I'm not sure that it's still on sale. You might just need to check that out first. It shows the sale? Okay. So, if you're wanting that filler on sale, like, do it now because I know that it's not going to be, like, in a few minutes. Like, I feel like it was already supposed to be not on sale. So just make sure if you want those three fillers on sale that you go do them right now um, because um, they're not going to be because we're getting a bunch of new filler that's going to be photographed. So, okay, let me see if I can do this now. Anyway, so the mom has like a long back. I just trimmed that off. So I'm going to put my 18 gauge wire and stem my little flower here. The paint is still wet because I literally just did that right now. Just so that you can see that it looks like a mum. Not sure I did it any good, but okay. So now when you're wearing your boutonniere, you obviously don't want to see the side of the flower, right? So we're going to bend it so the front of the flower is what we see. Okay. Everyone got that so far? All right. So we're going to work on our stuff little by little. So first we're going to do the leaf 
on here and I like to do the leaf and attach it before I do any other fillers because I like it to be um, placed really well and um, before I start adding stuff now and um, this is two leaves you can do one leaf the next one we're gonna do has two flowers but only one leaf but we're gonna put that there just like that and I'm gonna floral tape it down now I leave my stem nice and long while I'm making my boutonniere but I like a very short stem um, in the actual boutonniere so I leave it long though while I'm making it and we can trim that later. Hey Victoria. Okay, now we got our leaf. If your leaf is being, if your leaves are being like a little stubborn, you could always glue them directly to your flower, okay? And that will hold it in place. But these ones, because it's on a nice long stem, they're doing pretty well, it's not doing anything. Okay, so we've got our two first steps here. We put our flower on our wire and we attached it to our greenery with floral tape. Okay, everyone got that? Now, um, if you're doing, I don't know how many you know fillers you're gonna want, but you can do a bunch. Um, you wanna do your bulkier fillers first and your wispier ones towards the end. So I am gonna use some Princess Pine here because um, it's my favorite new filler in my life. And I'm going to slide it behind the flower, okay, in front of those leaves, okay? And I'm gonna floral tape that as well. Okay, can you see that? Okay. So I always do one piece at a time for boutonnieres. I don't do like the whole back and then just do it because it's hard to keep it sometimes in place exactly. Um, so I like to just tape up one at a time to make sure that it stays exactly where it is. Now I'm gonna to get to my like wispier greens. I don't think I need these because I have this. This is um, green candy tuft. Right now we only have the white candy tuft, but I used the white candy tuft in a bouquet yesterday. It's not right next to me, but I used the white candy tuft in a bouquet yesterday and it's so pretty. It looks just like baby's breath, but it's like fluffier. So if you guys don't have the candy tuft in white, you should go buy that. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this green wispier and I'm gonna just slide that behind my flower. Again, you can place it wherever you want. Um, it's gonna go behind my flower in front of my leaves. Okay, and let me um, tape that up. Hi, Carla. Okay. So now I got both of those, and then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna sneeze first. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here too, and I wanna put that right in the side as well. So again, you can do whatever fillers you want behind the flower. I like to make them come off a little bit to the side, not like straight up behind it, because that ends up looking a little weird. Um, so I just wanna see where it looks the best. I think I wanna over here with the green. Okay, and a boutonniere should be like a five minute thing to do. Don't let it consume your, uh, your mind where you're like, oh, is it perfect, is it best? Okay, so see we have Okay, and again, I'm using the Mum Guys. That's our flash flower sale today. Um, it's in the pinned comments. It's um, Mum 40 to get 40% off of our Mums. If you are, especially if you do, um, well, obviously for fall weddings, people like Mums, but if you do home decor, you definitely, of hiccups now, you definitely wanna get Mums for home decor because for the fall, you need to be doing those. So do like mums on the pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. Hey Chandra. Um, yeah, so mums like on the pumpkins, on wreaths, like everybody for the fall is gonna want mums. So this 40% off is like, like Sultan was even saying like, people need to know this is super duper special. Like things are not gonna be 40%. Like don't think you're gonna get mums for 40% off again because you're probably not. So, because these are expensive flowers. 
So anyway, I have my greens and I have all my stuff going on. And now we're gonna wrap the stem, okay? I cut it pretty short. Let me show you how short I, I cut mine. I like it, let's see, it's like the tip of my thumb. I like them short. I hate to see really long stems. I just don't like it myself. Hey, I do not use, I use pins. I do not use magnets. Um, I've had people had thicker things where even though the magnets are the strongest you can get, it just, they can move and everything else. I do pins because, well, pins worked for a million years now for people. So I still do pins. Um, I mean, if someone asks me for something else, I can do them, but I just don't like to, I like to change up something that worked already. So, um, I'm going to wrap with twine. And how I'm going to do that, I'm going to start on the back and I'm going to give myself a drop of glue. And I'm just going to lay my start right there at the top. I got to wait till it dries before I start wrapping. Okay. Then I'm just going to wrap and wrap and wrap. I'm going to just keep twisting it. Let me see if I can show you better. Twisting it around. Okay. When I get to the bottom, I'm gonna put a drop of hot glue. Not not all the way to the bottom, but part like, see I have like a little nub left. I'm gonna put a little drop of glue just to hold it down at that bottom part. Okay, and then when I get to my very bottom, I'm going to clip off where I leave some extra. Okay, let me show you how I finish it off, right? So you see my little nub at the bottom, my little green that you can see there? I put a drop on the bottom. I take my hand and I twist the right into the glue. I just twist it with my hand and it spins. You'll have a little nub at first. And then I'm gonna trim that little nubby that I had left, and then I'm gonna seal it with glue. So I'm gonna take my gun and I'm just gonna roll it around the bottom, blow on it until it's cool enough to touch it. I don't expect my employees to do this, I always say that. I don't expect them to stick their hand in the glue, but I always do it. And I just rub my finger around it once it's cool enough to touch where I'm not gonna kill myself. And Let me show you up clo Ooh, close. Okay, 30 second boutonniere. All right, now I'm gonna teach you how to do one that has two flowers. Does anyone have any questions about the one flower? This is with the mum, 40% off, mum 40 till 12.30. It's two and a half more hours to get mums on sale. Get your mums on sale because they're not going to be on sale anymore. Okay? Get your mums. Okay. That's the plug for the mums today. My next one is going to be a new beauty. I'll show you. So my boutonnieres are in general um, two inches. So that's what this one is. This mum is two inches. Um, I'm going to see. Um, yeah. So this is a two inch mum. That's the size I use for my boutonnieres. Um, so I have a two inch new beauty, um, already stemmed and I have, um, a hydrangea piece that is already stemmed as well. Okay. Morning Maria. So I have these two flowers. That's what's going to be in my boutonniere for my two flower right now. Now, let me just show you, there's other minis that you can use. Okay. So... Here's some other minis. Let me just show you how it looks with a different kind of a mini. Um, so again, I like to have one that's raw and then one that's the color of the wedding. But you could do two little roses. Okay, so it doesn't have to be this like hydrangea piece. It could be anything with a mini. So I do a two inch and a mini for my two flower um, boutonnieres. <clears throat> okay, so oh, I'm really going to sneeze. It's just not coming. Same thing. Now, with, <clears throat> with the roses, 
You don't have to completely face them forward forward, <clears throat> but I don't like to see the bottom. So I kind of give it a little bit of a tip forward. Um, like with the mums, the side angle is not so pretty. With the rose, you can give it a little bit of an angle, okay? So I've got my, my new beauty. I've got my hydrangea piece. Again, buy those big hydrangeas. They go, I've been using the same hydrangea pieces for all of my crowns, all of my combs, and all of my boutonnieres for like the entire week. It's like so worth it. <clears throat> and then I'm just using one, um, one leaf for this one, okay? So it's not stemmed or anything, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on the back and the little nub that I have, I am gonna floral tape, but then I'm gonna glue the leaf to the back of the um, flower, so. Yes, I do. I take apart the hydrangea and it gives me like flowers forever. It really does. Okay, so I floral taped the one leaf to the side. So when I'm looking at it, I always do, if I do one leaf, I always do it on the right side so that um, when you, they wear it on the left, it goes on the left. So that's just how I do it doesn't mean it's the right way. Now, because this leaf did not have much wire and much stem, I actually am gonna glue it directly, directly, directly to my flower. Okay? Now this one didn't want any colorful, fun fillers or anything like that because we're gonna have two flowers on it. So, I have um, this eucalyptus, it's real eucalyptus. Um, I'm going to take the little leaves off the bottom because you don't want to have it bulky. So I'm going to just remove those so that just the top of it has the little leaves that we're going to be able to see. Now with a one leaf boutonniere, you're going to want your other filler to be on the other side. Okay. So it's going to come out it's so hard to see. Let me put it on my shirt. Can you see it on my shirt? Let me see. Can you see it? <laughs> is it blending in with me should I take my gray shirt off can you okay so I'm gonna put it on the opposite side of uh, the one leaf that I have and I'm gonna floral tape that one up again I leave my my wire pretty long while I'm building it it's just easier Okay, simple. You could just leave it like this. Now I need to go crazy. The hand works because you can see it like that. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. The little piece of just the little, it's just, it's a little simple. This is the silver dollar eucalyptus and the other eucalyptus. It's just like simple. It's cute. Okay, so my second flower again. Now, it's just how I always build it. So when I'm looking at it with one leaf, I put it on the right side. I put my filler on the left side, and then I put my secondary flower on the left side as well. So I don't really know why, if that's like right or whatever, but that's just how my eye likes to see it. Now, just get the flower attached on, okay? And we're gonna position it in a minute. So I'm just gonna put it there and I'm gonna floral tape it and then I will adjust it and glue it and do all that that needs to be done, okay? Make sure you're reading the pin post um, about the mum. The mum is the flash flower sale of the day. 40% off, mum 40. If you do anything with fall anything, you need to get the mum because it won't be 40 again and you're gonna be making your fall crafts and you're gonna wish you had the mum. Okay, so I got my flower where I wanted it, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I glue the flowers together so that they can never be weird um, positioning. This way we know that all of the time your flower is exactly where you want it. <clears throat> Okay, and I always put the flower a little bit lower than the other one. I don't put, if it's two flowers, don't put them right next to each other. Make one slightly lower than the other one. So I would use a two inch and a mini for my two, my normal two flower ones. Again, 
some people have like pictures they found on Pinterest of different boutonnieres or whatever. But this is how I make my usual one. All right, let me show you. Oh, Jenny, you just asked exactly the question I just answered. So with a two flower one, I use the two inch and a mini. So a mini is anything from one inch to one and a half inches. Okay, can you see that? Let me hold it up close. Okay, I just did a little sprig of eucalyptus, um, a silver dollar eucalyptus leaf. I glued the flowers together so they can't separate because sometimes your tape just isn't strong enough to keep them really tight together. Okay. And then again, I did my stem pretty short. I don't like to see it. I don't, it just, I don't like to see like a stemmed flower um, on a shirt. So I get them pretty short where you can just use it just to pin. Okay. So I just cut that off. You can see my stem. And then um, this one's supposed to get twine too. So I'm going to do that with uh, twine as well. Again, here, let's see if we can get this view for you. A drop of hot glue on the back. I'm going to lay my twine in there. And I have to let it dry before I start spinning, okay? Let me see if I can do this backwards. I wonder if I'm that talented. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it backwards where you can see it better. Okay, so I'm just going to twist it around. This feels awkward doing it this direction, but we got it. Going up my stem, nice and tight. Can you see that? Okay. Here, maybe like this, backwards. Okay, spinning it around. When I get close to the end, I'm going to put a drop of glue on the end and then spin it in that just so that it holds it there. So the one for the groom should not be as long. Gail, none of mine are long. Um, I do all short bottoms because I just don't like the look of a long boutonniere. They're all the same. All of them stay the same, um, Gail. No one's is longer than the others. They should all, I actually line them up and make sure they're exactly the same. Okay, now remember, I'm gonna leave myself a little tail. I'm gonna put a drop of glue on my end, and then again, let me show you this again. I twist it like this. Let me do this really up close, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue right here, right? And then I take my hand, and if I twist it, it wraps around into the glue without me having to put my finger in it. Okay, let me show you one more time, ready? Twisting it and it twists itself. It's gonna twist itself into the glue. See how I'm just twisting it? Okay, and then I'm gonna let it touch in there. Okay. It's, Gail, it's doesn't, I don't have any, I don't measure out the stem, but these aren't going together. These are not part of the same wedding, but also it's because it's a different flower. So this flower like covers, this has two flowers. So the nubs themselves are about the same length. If you can see that. <laughs> Erica just said exactly what I said. They're actually the same. It's just the second flower and um, goes down over it. So you can't see it as far, but they are the same but I don't measure it or anything. I just like them short because I don't like that long look and especially like, yeah, I just don't. The shorter the better for me. Okay, but it's personal preference. All right, I'm gonna try to do this really up close. So I'm gonna put the dot of glue and then I'm gonna get close to the camera and I'm gonna show you again how I finish the bottom, okay? So I have my drop of glue and I'm just gonna twist like that, see? Twist it in to the glue. Okay. And then I'm gonna put one more dot of glue and finish that off, okay? So that you don't have to really put your hand in the glue too much. Okay. Oh, how much does it cost to make and sell? Um, let's see. Costs about a 
dollar fifty ish if you're if you have a wholesale account and your flowers are cheap. Um, depending on what flowers you use, like a dollar, a dollar fifty. I charge ten dollars for the basic boutonniere, which is a one flower, and fifteen for the groom, um, which is two flowers. Yeah, um, Victoria, I said it. I don't like to use magnets. I think I don't know. I just feel like why fix something that wasn't really broke? Um, everyone uses pins. Magnets get tricky. I've heard of people saying the fabric in between like was different than like when you made them and I just I don't like to use magnets. Again, that's a personal personal preference, but I use pins. Um, yeah, I use pins. All right, this is a two flower one. Um, yeah. Does anyone, I can make one more one flower one if anyone wants to see that. It's up to you. Does anyone want me to show you one more? Or are you like, we got it, leave us alone? What does everyone want? I can do one more if you want, if you just got on. And um, since I have to make 13 of these ones, um, I can show you if you want me to. This hydrangea is bothering me though because there's a crack in one of the flowers. All right, um, I can make one more if everyone wants one more. Let me know, guys, because this is all I, I've got to make all this. Okay, I gotta make this anyway, so we might as well, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna break the top off of, this one's kinda chubby. Let me find a skinnier one. Let's make one more. I mean, I got to make 13 more, but I didn't think you'd want to watch me make 13 of them of the same exact thing. So, okay. So I've got my little eucalyptus guy. He's already got his bottom part all cleaned off. I probably need to take one more layer off. Yay. Okay, Brittany. This is for the one flower. Um, this is for the one flower um, boutonniere. Sorry, I'm just reading comments. I'm kind of catching up. Shauna, they don't let pins. That's ridiculous because any real florist won't glue a magnet onto fresh flowers. So like, what, how does that even work? Um, Camille, I have a fake silver dollar eucalyptus and then real preserved regular eucalyptus. So Shauna, how does that work? Okay, so Shauna just wrote that some tuxedo companies won't allow pins, but real flowers, real, real boutonnieres, non solo flower boutonnieres need pins because they don't, a real florist doesn't glue on a magnet to real flowers. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, guys who are just joining, so you said they just joined, the mum is the flash flower sale. It's mum 40 for 40% 40 off of mums and for two more hours till 1230, um, Eastern Standard Time. These are the two inch new beauties that I'm using right now. Again, I um, bend them forward. With the new beauties, I don't bend them completely forward because the side of it looks okay. Yes, obviously you have to have the magnet that goes onto the other side. That's how they stick because you have to have them on both sides. Yes, did someone ask a question about magnets? Um, I've never had a problem with magnets, not, no one has ever asked me to use a magnet. I don't suggest magnets, so I don't know. So this is a two inch new beauty. I tilted it a little bit forward, but I like the side-ish look of this. So depending on what flower you use, um, you can bend it completely forward or not. And um, we're going to take our silver dollar. Again, I always put it when you're looking at it, when you're making it on the right side. Okay which is going to be your left side when you're looking at it that way. So it has a little bit of a nub, so I am going to floral tape what I have, and then we're going to glue that leaf directly to our flower so that it's in the right position and doesn't move, okay? Now, when you're spinning it and wrapping it, sometimes the leaf is a little awkward, so um, don't worry about that until we glue it. Yeah, magnets are expensive in general. And I ain't raising my prices for boutonnieres because it's one thing I think is silly to waste money on 
and but if you do do ones with magnets and someone asks you, you should charge more because um, pins cost like a penny. Magnets are expensive. Magnets cost more than the rest. Magnets, the magnets will cost more than every other supply in your boutonniere. And I just don't think that's necessary. Okay, so I'm going to position my leaf where I like it. And then I'm going to glue it directly to my flower. And it's hot. Okay, and I want it a little bit to the side, okay, because I'm putting the other one on the other side. So it's a little bit on the side. Okay, is anyone getting mums today? Is anyone going to make anything for, for, for the fall or have you already started? Let's think. What are fun things to make for the fall? What are some things maybe I should do a tutorial on for the fall? Maybe I'll buy mums and do a basket of mums, but that's like boring. We could do pumpkins. You know that little picket fence? Did anyone watch my picket fence tutorial earlier? Wouldn't that look cute? Like if it was painted like black and had little orange pumpkins and like ivy twisted up that, that would be really cute. Maybe I can go pick up another one and do that. And we could use twists for pumpkins and like mums, like little, we could do like mini baskets of little mums and stuff on it. I don't know. So anyway, let's think of some fall things to do, but um, mums are a must for fall. And um, I had a whole mums wedding. Um, I had a whole mums wedding last year. So, okay. So I'm putting on my, on my other side again. Let me show you again. Have you made a boot near using wine corks? Yes. Right, Tiffany, wouldn't that look cute with the piggy fence? Okay, so I gotta get the piggy fence. Rebecca, I feel like I, I don't remember where I got it, but for sure I could do it. Yes, I have a huge box full of twists as well, Tiffany. So let's do a picket fence of pumpkins. Let's do it. I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna start working on that, like getting it together. I'm gonna have to order some mums myself that way. Um, but mums in the back with like, I want to make like a little thing, like we can make like on the side of the picket fence, you can have like a little basket looking thing and have like the mums and then pumpkins and then like ivies, all the ideas guys, all the ideas. But anyway, we're doing boutonnieres today. So let me finish that. See, I have this little guy on the other side of my leaf and I'm going to floral tape that up. What are other ideas guys? Give me other ideas that we can use for even these mums. <laughs> Give me. Is it the five little pumpkins sitting on a gate? The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. That one, Tiffany? Do you need me to sing it, the whole song for you? The second one said, there are witches in the air. Something like that. I feel like that's it. And then, ooh, went the wind and out went the light. Sorry, guys. Yes, I was right. Okay, so how simple is that? Should take you 10 seconds, costs no money, cute little boutonniere. Men don't need all the fancy pantsy stuff. Like most men are like minimalist, okay? Like do as little as possible on them. Erica, you didn't go to school. <laughs> or your school was crappy. You don't know like 10 little pumpkins sitting on a fence. The first, I mean, on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. Whatever. The third one said, we don't care. First one, fourth one said, I don't remember. All I know is that you scare the kids because you say, you're thinking it's like a cute little song. You say, ooh, it's the wind. And then you clap and you go, ah, oh, it's the light. And then the kids all scream, you know, Halloween. Scare your children. Okay. Cut the, cut the bottom off. We're going to twine wrap it. Sorry guys, this conversation went in a totally different direction than I expected. Um, but the mums, they make you think about the fall, right? So buy them because we're gonna do lots of fall crafts. You don't know what this is? Come on now. I don't know what kind of schools you went to where they didn't do the Halloween pumpkin song, but oh my word, I'm so sad, all right. 
I'm going to have to play it. If I wasn't embarrassed to scream, I would have Alexa play it right now. But she's kind of far away, and I'd have to scream, Alexa! So I won't do that. Okay, I'm going to twine right at the, the bottom. Twist, 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 twist. When I get my little nub, can you see the little nub? I'm going to put a little glue on it. I'm going to wrap it into that glue so it holds it nice and tight. I'm going to cut my end off. Yes, and out. And you have to clap when you say out when the lights. And then all the children like scream because they're thinking they're singing this cute little song and then you scare the bejeebies out of them. Okay, I'm going to twist that into the glue at the end. Tiffany, this is why we're kindred spirit. All right, so let's do this. Why don't we... Okay, so I do a tutorial. Well, I mean, I've been doing a tutorial every day this week. But in general, that's not going to happen because... I got weddings to do, but it will be once a week. So why don't we dedicate the month of August for each week to do a different fall craft? What do you think? A fall craft for each, for each time? And I'm going to do pumpkin. Okay. So here's my other one. I also want, you know what else I want to show you? Let me show you this too. Hold on. Um, we got this. Okay. We got the boutonnieres. Get your mom's. Get your mom's because we are going to do fall crafts, okay? Seems very simple. So simple. So easy. But don't wait till the last minute, guys. You know what I mean? Like, some people are like, oh, it looks simple. I'm going to wait till the last minute. And then you're like, some people have a little bit more trouble than others. And so I feel like maybe you should give yourself time. But guys, who are going to do fall crafts with me, go get your mom's. They'll never be 40% off again. And when I say never, I don't mean that he's never like in his whole lifetime, but like pretty much never. Like he told me pretty much this is it. Camille, I'm going to um find a place where people can buy the little fence and um, I will post the link and we will all make it together. Do you want me to give you like a week heads up? of crafts that I'm going to do for August for the fall? That way you guys can get your supplies and like do it with me. I'll tell you like what flowers I'm going to use and stuff. Maybe. Okay. I want to show you how to do a non-flower boutonniere. Like wild stuff boutonniere. Hi, Peggy Jean. Um, yeah? You want to see a wild boutonniere? Good? Yes? Okay, let's do this. Yes to the, okay, yes to the knowing ahead of time. I'm going to make a wild boutonniere. I'm going to use lavender and make a wild boutonniere. This wasn't planned, but let's just do this. I'm going to tell you where I found my picket fence, okay? I mean, not where I found necessarily my picket fence because I don't remember. You know, where I, you know where I got it? I just remembered where I got it. Um, when we did the solar retreat, when we did solar retreat last year, um, we had crafts that we used and didn't use while we were on retreat, and that was one we didn't get to. So that is where I got it. So I don't actually know where she got that one. But I see them all over, so. Okay, we're gonna make, yes, mum. The mum, I painted it real fast this morning just so that you could see it could be mumsy colors. Like literally just painted it fast. Supply list for the win, woo! Okay, Brittany, I will do a supply list ahead of time. Um, but I really wanna do that pumpkin thing. I do, I wanna do pumpkins. Okay, this was the mum. It looks just like a mum. I mean, it's a mum. It's under chrysanthemum. I always get like a lisp when I say that. It's under chrysanthemum mum. Um, but I'm just gonna call them mums again because that's easier to say. So get your mums 40% off because it ain't happened again. Mums and if you didn't get your mini sunflowers, mini sunflowers and mums are fall to a T. Okay, we will use these for all of our fall things. Let me think what else. What is you know what else I think was on sale? The Caspia. Erica, is there gold Caspia left? Because I might buy some gold Caspia to use for some of those crafts too. So guys, I'm going back to California um, to the warehouse, the Love Solo warehouse um, in November. I'm bringing an empty suitcase and I'm bringing as many fillers. Okay, so fillers are like expensive to ship, right? So I'm going to like fill my luggage up. 
fill my luggage up with filler. Okay, let's do um, a wild tutorial for a boutonniere. Um, I'm just gonna grab whatever's sitting around me. It's still available, the gold. All right, don't buy out the gold Caspia, people, because I want some of it. No, I know he's getting a whole lot more colors. Actually, he got more gold, so it's okay. Go buy all the gold, but I'm going to do, like, golds and reds and all that kind of stuff. So if you're wanting to do these things with me, especially if you're going to have, like, vendor sales for the fall and you want to do these with me, like, go get that. But I will give you a supply list. Okay, I'm going to make a fully wild um, boutonniere, meaning that it has no flowers. Um, I'm just looking at what's on the floor around me. Okay, I'm gonna use this white candy tuft. Do you love how I just have all this garbage around my like feet and I'm picking it up and putting it into this boutonniere? Where you make pumpkins with twists. Like a kissing ball. Oh, like an actual big pumpkin that could sit like on your table. I can do that too. I have 7,000 twists that I will be using, so yeah. Okay, um, I have white candy tuft. Let's see what else. Oh, look at this. This looks like something I can use. Guys, this is how I live my life. I just look around my feet and whatever I have, I use. Okay. Um, let's see. It's kind of sad, but I am cleaning um, after today. Okay, let me just pull some of these little spriggy things off and then we're just going to make a wild boutonniere. Okay, I know we're supposed to be talking about mums today because that is what um, is on sale and that's what I was actually on here to talk about, but this is fun and you're all hanging out with me, so... Um, I'm just trying to find a good wire for this. Okay, so this doesn't have a wire because I had to cut it. So I'm just going to loop a wire in it and spin it around in there. Okay, so that it's wired. Erica, what do you need a boutonniere for to match your hair clip? Here, let me wear the hair clip. I should wear, I made this for Erica yesterday. Let me see. Let me see if it'll stick in my head. Hold on. Okay. No, I just feel like it needs to be on the other side. Hold on. Okay, since we're talking about the fall, I'll wear my fall headpiece here. Erica, you're going to have to wear this and make it look nice because it's not looking good on my head right now. Sorry. Okay. We have a bunch of people joining, um, more people joining. Moms are on sale, 40% off. Mom 40 in the pin post. Yes, it's true. Don't sell it. She's going to sell it for people who want like the thing that touched my head. Okay. That doesn't look okay, so we're going to move on from that. Okay. Thanks. All right. I got a bunch of junk here that I just scooped around, you know, scooped around my table. Um, so, okay. So if you're making a wild boutonniere, you just need a bunch of wild stuff. And that usually is kind of wispy, but you do need a little bit of something bulky just to give it some volume. So I'm going to use this floppy greenery and um, to be the background and then I'm going to use my um, lavender this lavender is from Walmart I do get my lavender from Walmart usually okay that'll give it a little color I'm gonna put that in front of it okay and I'm going to use my tape to tape this down Victoria if she could figure out how to clone me that would solve a lot of problems in my life so Guys, if anyone can figure that out, I need a clone in a big way. I know that you guys do too. You're all busy too. If we could be having one clone cooking, one clone cleaning, one clone working, that would be like amazing. Okay. 
Now I'm going to kind of intermingle it all. Okay, and then I'm going to put my white candy tuft. So I like to have like my colors in the back and then I'll have like one greenery in the front that kind of sets it off. And then these little wispy guys. See these little guys? I'm going to put one in the back. Did you just say you can't handle enough of me? All right, I'm going to put one in the front and one in the back. And I'm going to do it up with the floral tape. I got to cut these little nubs off because they're going to be too bulky. Right? Right, Shauna? That would solve like all of my life issues if we could do that. Okay. All right, so this is for a wild boot. You just grab a bunch of wild stuff and you just kind of stick it together. Um, what was I going to say? Mums and um, fall crafts. Okay, so if you guys have a fall craft, even if it's not like one that you've done, if you find, I'm going to put this, this is going to be my last ending piece. It's going to be like, I wanted it in the front to be my leg. I'll show it up close when I'm done gluing it. But um, if you're seeing any mums crafts, like Pinterest or whatever, send me a message of the picture for me to do it this month. Because I'm going to do once a week. I'll do a fall craft once a week. Definitely going to do pumpkins for sure. So if you want to already plan ahead for pumpkins, get twists. What do they call? Do they call them twists? They don't call them twists um, on Love Zola. They call them shells, I think. I think it's called a shell um, in Love Sola. But if you're thinking ahead, I'm going to make a list soon of everything that you would want to buy so that you don't have to do multiple purchases, right? Of everything we're going to make. Um, but if you have a mom's craft that you see mums or pumpkins or fall that you want me to make and teach you how to make, send a message. You could either send it to Love Sola Flowers since you're on this page. You can send it to the business page. Pictures of things you want me to make just in the message. Make sure you say, so that Sultan doesn't get confused while he's getting pictures of pumpkins. Make sure you say, this is for Dana, for inspiration. I read all the messages too, so I'll see it. Or you can write me at Cascade Queen Designs, LLC, the business one. Don't send me a private message with those kind of things because I lose them. I get like a thousand messages a day and I have a hard time maintaining it in my private messages if it's about business. And I like sometimes say I'm going to write someone back and then I don't. So, Shauna, good idea. I have a bunch of oranges that I've like love and there's like some reds. Yes, I will do a whole list of everything. Does that sound good? Okay, so you guys need to send pictures and inspirations. Send them, send them here on this page because if you're on this page, you might as well send them. Maybe Sultan's going to hate me for saying that. But do it anyway and say Dana and I will copy and paste it and I'll delete it. So that way you're already on this page. You can send me inspirations and then we will make something, something that I can um, easily show you guys. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, as we can see, how easy is that? Like 10 seconds, right? Let me show you up close. So do you see how I don't have anything going straight up and down? So that's like my thing. I hate seeing like, like I hate a straight up and downer. It just isn't my thing. So I always tilt things to the side. The only thing that's straight up and down is your, your starter piece. Okay. And that's your background. Okay. But do you see how that took like 10 seconds? I know Erica. I might get in trouble for telling you to send all these pictures. <laughs> okay. Let me wrap this with the twine as well. Erica's right, might get in trouble, but you shouldn't have put me as admin of this page then if you didn't want to have messages to sign. Could you imagine if it gets flooded? There's only like 
there was only like 50 people total today saw this. So that's like, even if every one of you sent it, there's only 50 messages that he'll get. He is the cleanest inbox ever. He like sorts his emails, his messages like really well. So a mini bouquet. It does look like a little mini bouquet. I've been trying to like really maintain both of the Instagrams. It's not been the easiest thing because my brain is out of hashtags. Like I have to rethink the whole hashtag situation. All right, putting the glue at the end so I can seal it off. But guys, really send me inspiration pictures of something that you want me to make. We'll definitely do the picket fence with the, with the pumpkins and Ivy because that's really cute. Mini bouquets? That's a hashtag situation? Okay. I don't know. My Instagram is like pretty, it just keeps, it does its, its own thing kind of. <laughs> okay. Again, for anyone who just started, how we're going to finish our bottom, we're going to put the glue and I'm just going to twist it into it. Okay. I'm going to show you again. Okay. I want a little mini bouquet. All right. So I'm just going to twist it down into it. And I'm going to trim the little guy off here. And then I'm going to put some glue just to seal that up. So I got to make sure it's a little bit dry before I stick my finger into it because um, it's very hot when it first starts. <laughs> I don't know who's going to get this because I make things now and I don't know what to do with them, but yeah. Okay. So I got my little wild. So here's what we got. We've got a wild boutonniere. Um, if the bride did a wild bouquet, would you do grooms without flowers? I always ask the bride. Daughter doesn't want twine. Yes. Um, let me see if I have ribbon on my table because I think I do. Give me a second to look. Okay, let me show you what I got. And here's what I'll do. I'm just going to have it all at retreat and y'all can take whatever you want. Yeah, I use satin ribbon too, but hold on. Let me see if I can find it because I think I have some on my table. I have a large one, but I usually use small. Um, hold on. My table's a mess, but I feel like I can, um, do it. You could use satin ribbon. Um, I like to use even matte ribbon for men. I like to keep it masculine, even though it's a flower. I really do like to keep it masculine. It's just my thing. But, um, okay. I did the two flower boutonniere. I did a one flower boutonniere with a one leaf and a one flower with two leaves and a bunch of filler. Maybe Jenny. I don't know. I like to give things away, um, too. I mean, Sultan gets, sends me this stuff to use. So <clears throat> let me see if I have a ribbon. I'm sorry. I'm all up in your face guys. Um, let me look at my table, my messy mess. I have glitter ribbon that I could just show you. Um, hold on. I swear to God, I had white. I've even used lace. It just depends on what the bride wants. I like to keep it super duper masculine, but hold on. I'm trying to think. I can just show you with glitter, but don't use glitter for men, okay? You may be seeing Dusty Miller peeking through here. You may have. All right, if I use gold, no one's gonna like Gold glitter. You're not going to like screenshot it and say like, look at the weird boutonnieres that Dana makes, right? Are we going to have an agreement that this is just as a sample, right? Because that's what's in front of my face. Can we just have a little agreement that we're not going to spread this all over that Dana makes glittery gold boutonnieres? Like, how about everybody writes, I agree, so that I know that we won't share this. 
Sir, please. Okay, let's agree that this is top secret, that I'm using glittery gold, because this is not going to go on anybody. I promise I would never do it to any men out there, but I need y'all just to agree. Yes, okay. All right, so I will make this for you, and you will not share it with anybody. Okay, let's just, um, I'm just gonna grab some stuff, because, because I feel like it's gonna be like this thing, like Dana's starting a new trend of, glittery gold uh boutonnieres <laughs> all right i'm just gonna grab whatever i have here just to show you it all right <laughs> this is just the scraps off my table what Lori? don't even say that not in a boutonniere oh my gosh my co-worker wants me to put pearls in the boutonniere and i said i just i just won't do it i hate you victoria Yes, not what not to do, but what to do, okay? I'm just I, I'm just grabbing whatever junk is around my um thing. So but this is how you would do a pin-on corsage too. So maybe we'll make believe it's a pin-on corsage. Alright. This is totally, totally I swear to God though. I swear to God that this is not what I would do. For sure this is gonna be somewhere like for sure, it's going to be somewhere like, Dana doesn't know how to craft. Why are people watching her tutorials? Okay, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just to show you. It's a custom order. That's what we're going to say. Victoria's husband is going to some ball with her. And we'll say this is for him. He needs glittery. What? Okay, Jennifer, I want to know who. <laughs> Alright, you could use thicker if I wanted to not like... Whatever. Okay. All right. So this is kind of the size ribbon that I would use here. Let's, I have an idea. Let's just do the glitter side in. Look, it's not so bad if the glitter side's in. Thank you, Christina. But look, I'm going to put the glitter size in. Glitter on men? Like glitter? I don't even like glitter on women. So maybe that's just because I don't like glitter at all. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to do the glitter side in so it's not so bad. Okay. So I got my thing, I got it taped, I got it cut. I'm gonna put glue on the back and I'm just gonna lay my ribbon in there. Okay, I want you all to ask your husbands if they would wear glitter and pearls in their boutonniere. And I just wanna know, because we did this already with our employees, because my employees wanted me to stick these pearls in this. And I said, there's no way I'm putting pearls on a man, right? So, they called their husbands and their husbands all agreed with me. Just saying. But I'm wondering what your husbands would do. Okay, so I'm gonna do the glitter side in just for the sake of this tutorial so it's not like. <laughs> Jenny, no, why? Like, look, it's already, oh, and the glue too. It's already all over me. It's horrible. Okay, but I'm doing glitter side in. So you're gonna take your ribbon and you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna twist it. And you just keep going down and down and down. Well, Tiffany, but it's a little different if like they're wanting to do that. But, okay, so we're just gonna do down and down. Um, I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna glue it. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Erica, that was the right answer, at least. This is like, <laughs> don't ever do this. Don't use this, right? Okay. When you st you start out you start out straight and you just keep going slower 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 slower. Um, Luann, there is no code for the mini sunflowers. The the mums are what's on sale. Where did I even put it? Okay, the mums are on sale. Mum forty. Yeah, I like Shauna. I actually don't like boutonnieres at all. If I were to do boutonniere, I would do the wild. 
myself this or just greenery even you can do it not wild you can do greenery and it not let me show you that in a second okay here's the mum I had a lot of coffee as you can tell like it just hit me all my caffeine just hit me and so now I'm a little hyper but here's what it would look like if you ribbon did it please don't make a boutonniere that looks like this don't screenshot this and say like this is what I actually sell don't ruin my business this is actually a small flower this is actually a one one and a half um, that's how, that's what it would look like if it was small. This is what I use for like, um, junior groomsmen. Is that what you call them? Or, uh, little guys, ring bearers. I use a mini. Yes. The mums are 40% off. Mum 40, but only for another hour and a half. Okay. Let's make one more where it's not wild, but it's more traditional, um, style, greenery, thing because my caffeine has hit me and I can keep going so I'm gonna use a little bit of this dusty Miller I gotta wire it okay I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use my um, eucalyptus but I was hoping I had one on a stem, but I don't. So I gotta stem this. Okay, so these are more traditional. This is not wild. Um, I'm just gonna do greens and show you how you can just put together a bunch of stuff and it look nice. Yeah, so when I talk about the flash flower sale and I don't want anyone not hearing this, like when I say that it won't be on sale again, I really mean it, okay? If you want these mums and you want them on sale, Truly, honestly, now is the time to do it. If you have problems with glitter, yeah, I have a shine sealer, but I don't need it in my life. I just don't need glitter in my life. But thank you. <laughs> I'll leave all the glitter for all of you guys. Usually I just like um, come up with a different idea. But that is a really good idea because if people want glitter, then it really is good to spray it and it, it will help. Okay, so let's see. So this, I'm building a more traditional boutonniere with greenery. So if it's not wild, but they still don't want flowers. Okay. And I'm just using what's in front of me. So, you know. Okay. So I have here, um, silver dollar eucalyptus. Um, this is called, I don't remember. It's from Hobby Lobby, my favorite. Then I'm going to put my Dusty Miller. And these are all just like traditional greeneries, guys. This Dusty Miller is from Michael's. And then I'm going to put my other one. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I prefer this style of um, boutonniere over a flower. But Caspia is really great. Actually, I can even add, let me add a little bit of Caspia. Caspia is super duper great. Erica, you're sure that it's still on sale? I'd hate to send people over, but um, Cassia is great for some color, and you can just leave it greens. I'm glad you all listened to me. So Sultan said that the cobalt blue Cassia really moved when I showed people. I'm glad you listened to me because it's the one thing I use like all the time. So get your Cassia because Cassia is like the perfect boutonniere filler. If you want to use with um, the eucalyptus leaf and then you just stick some caspia in there, it's the best. Okay, I'm going to add this. And that could be your color. And then there's so many colors of caspia. So even the gold would be good with almost any color. Perfect. Thank you, Erica. So this is how you could bring in the color to match your bridesmaids because there's so many colors of caspia. And we're getting even more um, as soon as we photograph it. When I say we, I mean him. Um, 
Eric, I swear to God, he said he was going to take it off. So if he didn't take it off, then it's fine. He would probably do it when he wakes up today. So if you want it, like, get it now. Because I know new, I know that new filler is coming. So get it, like, very now. Because he'll be awake soon, probably. He may take it off. <laughs> See how you can add the blue if they're wearing like navy? Okay, so this is a more traditional. Let me, um, I do not want to wrap this with gold. Let me wrap it with the white at least. All right, I'm going to wrap it with this. Okay, because I'm not wrapping it with gold. I just tried to take the tape off and it like destroyed the whole ribbon, but whatever. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the difference next side by side of the wild and the more traditional. Cobalt's my favorite Caspia that we have and definitely the gold for the fall. I'm definitely going to buy a bunch of that. I was told that I couldn't like buy things out. I wanted to buy it all out, but I was told that I had to save it for other customers. But I don't like to save it for the other customers, but I was told I'm not allowed to buy it out. I was like, so how many do you have left of that? I'll just buy it out. But I was told that I can't buy out certain things. Which is unfair, don't you think, guys? I work hard. It's okay. I can say whatever I want because he doesn't watch his own replay. So this is why I do um, all of my lives now in the morning. Because he can't watch them and then I can say whatever I want, actually. Let me let it dry. Let me trim it. This is all frayed because um, I destroyed it. Not on purpose, but I did. So don't mind the big fray on it. That wouldn't happen in real life. Tiffany... What does that mean? I have, I placed lots of orders. He just won't let me buy it out. <laughs> I want them all. Like, I'll be like, how many gold caspies do you have? Oh, 40? Okay, I'll take all 40. And then he's like, no, other people need to buy it too. And I was like, well, what's the point then? It's all good. He's good to me, so. All right. Let me show you the difference between like a wild one and a more traditional one. Yeah, we can say whatever we want about him right now because he's never going to watch the replay, so we're good. But he might jump on at any moment and then we're screwed. Yes, I was just saying I'll use the sunflowers for that. No, he actually like... Erica, I would like to do that, but... I still am not allowed to do that. I get a certain amount because I would buy it all. Like, he orders five cases from Bob. You should be able to buy additional cases from Bob. Yeah. I can do that, Tiffany. But we did such a soft launch that we didn't have a ton. Eventually, when it's fully stocked, he won't care how much I buy from him. Um, so, yeah. We're just talking, like, right now because we just only bought a little bit of stuff. He did just get um, a bunch of filler this week, so he's gonna be taking pictures, but like San Diego never has sun apparently. And so he's waiting to take pictures for the website and he's gonna post all new fillers. And um, yeah. Oh, when I'm getting there, I'm gonna count out everything he has and like take what I want, so. All right, so do you see the difference between the traditional and the wild? Just a slight difference, more leafier and traditional greens on one side. I use a ribbon to do it um, up, where this one has more wispier and has twine. Yeah, the wild is so easy, I love it too. Right, Luann? So we're just excited because, um, I don't know, like exciting things are happening at Love Sola right now. It's exciting for me to be a part of it and um, see all of it. 
I don't do much of like the handiwork, obviously, because it's there. But um, he picked out like amazing fillers. I was really impressed. Um, I mean, I helped him, but he found everything. So I can't really take much credit for that. Um, obviously his flowers, like he's super serious about what vendor he buys his flowers from to make sure that they're really amazing. So it's just been really kind of cool seeing like people know about him that didn't know about him, which is what my whole point was, is that I wanted to make sure that people knew how great they were because I think it was like a slightly hidden secret about how awesome they really are. Yeah. And shipping Luann I was there, right? So I was just there in last month, last month. I was there last month, like an order comes in and it prints and he just like immediately takes the paper and he goes and fills it. And Chris Phil, um, she does all that, like she does counting and all that other stuff too. Like they print it and fulfill it. So the only time it's like a little difficult is when there's like a huge sale, when he does his 50% off sale. Um, then obviously a thousand, orders are coming in at a time. Obviously it takes longer during the very big sale, but in a normal way, he literally just prints it out, goes, fulfills it, and then like slaps the label on it. Like I watched it. It's pretty cool because he can't stop. Cause if he didn't, then he would never catch up cause it's just him and his wife. So yes. Yeah. So the other thing too, is now that shipping is very expensive, he does smaller boxes. So if you've noticed, if you get a lot of flowers and um, if you notice it, when you get a lot of flowers, they box them up. He usually uses 12 by 12 by 12 boxes because that's the cheapest shipping right now. And um, so you will probably get multiple boxes, but the positive about it is because I used to get those jumbo boxes of flowers. Cause you know, I usually order at least, I don't know, you know, at least a few hundred, if not more flowers at a time. So I used to get those big jumbo boxes and, um, they would take a week of shipping because they're slow moving and it's from California to New Jersey took a long time, not his fault, just what shipping was. But now that he has to use multiple boxes, which is bad for him, but good for us, they're all priority. So all those small boxes go priority. So they're always like two day shipping. So really great yeah the flowers are just great and it was like so that was really the reason why you know it was just right for me to partner with him because I have like super strict rules for my own stuff and if I want to make sure that my bouquets are perfect and if I don't let them go out the door without being high quality then I want the same thing in the person who sells me my flowers and so like that's how we connected because we're both kind of OCD about that so it works really well. We've been having a good time together, learning both sides. He's very businessy minded and I don't know anything about that. And, um, obviously I can make stuff and I'm good at connecting with people. So if you didn't read our blog, it kind of explains everything of how it all came together. So the blog was about teamwork and it's called teamwork and just kind of like how we started, um, working together. Um, every, our blog comes out every Monday. This Monday I have a really good one ready for you guys, but, um, let me just reiterate what we're actually selling today. It's the mums, mom, mom, mom. and that's mum 40. It's listed as chrysanthemum, um, in the fifth Avenue collection, 40% off, won't be 40% off again. So if you're needing them for your fall projects, please get them now because you're going to be sad that you didn't get them faster because they're not going to be 40% off again. So I'm not really sure what we're doing tomorrow yet for a live. I know that we have one more to kind of end the week of fifth Avenue flowers. Um, he really takes pride in the fifth Avenue flowers. So, um, yeah, they're really nice. I'm looking at a bag of them right now. So anyone have any questions about boutonnieres? We did way more than I thought we were going to do. Let me line them up. Okay. Wow, look at it. We did a lot of boutonnieres, guys. What happened? We just exploded here. Okay, let's see. We have a mum with two leaves. We have a one flower with one leaf. Two flowers with one leaf. A traditional greenery. 
and a wild. Look what we accomplished today, guys. All before lunchtime. Well, for some of you, maybe it's just wake up time. Tiffany, no, it's not 10 boutonnieres. It's 13 boutonnieres, just so you know. Just so you know. Okay, and then also when I ship them, so let me show you, I have um, the pin. Okay, and what I do, let me put it in this one. What I do is I stick it, can you, it's hard to see the pin. I stick it in the bottom, just up in there, just so the tip is in there, but I want it to like, so they can see with their pin. I have this weird um, OCD phobia, everybody makes fun of me here, about mailing things with pins in them. It gets me really nervous. No, Tiffany, these are, oh, two of them are for my order. So I do, I have 11 left, so we're good. Um, but yeah, I usually ship them like this with the pin sticking out the bottom, but I have this weird thing about pins. I'm always like thinking in my head, like someone's going to put their hand in the box and there's going to be like pins. It's like this weird phobia. Everyone in here makes fun of me about it. I used to not send pins because of it. It gave me the heebie-jeebies. Like even sticking my hand to get a pin out of the box, I get like the willies. Um, Lori, I do bubble wrap. So what I do is I take a long sheet of bubble wrap. I place one like this and I fold over, then I place the other like this, and I fold over, and I keep doing that, and it's in one thing, But the, so all the boutonnieres will be in one thing, but they're bubble wrapped. Yes, come here, but okay, did you guys send pictures though of what you want me to make? I'm definitely doing the picket fence and pumpkin. I might even put like 10, well, I don't know if we could fit 10, depending on what size I get. Um, but did you guys get your, did you guys get your, um, did you send your pictures? Because you should do that. Start looking on Pinterest of fall projects. I will make sure I get to the private messages first. Usually I'm faster anyway. Um, yes, mom 40. Only for another hour and 15 minutes though, guys, 12.30. I know people are gonna be really upset when they see this on replay, but this is when it is, so. Hey, these were my other ones. I love wild. I could, I, I would, if I, if I, this is what I would use. If I got married again, this is what I would use. Well, Camille, um, I was long winded today, but that's because the caffeine hit like mid video. People who are going to be like watching this, they're going to like watch me like really tired at the beginning. And then like, you can probably see the point where the caffeine like, entered my system because I didn't actually get a cup of coffee before I went and brought my son to camp today. So by the time I got back and here, I was still like super duper tired. And then all of a sudden there it went. Um, you're on a ring light, Lori. There's nobody else here. Sometimes there's people here, but right now no one holds the camera. I wouldn't be able to be that steady. It's like this huge ring light. I would even flip the camera around to show you, but, but the mess in front of me is cray. But I will one day maybe to give you a tour of my craft room downstairs, but I don't have good signal down there. So we tried that. Does anyone, anyone see my filler video where it was a hot mess because we were down there and there was no signal and then we had to run upstairs as fast as we possibly could. So um, I'm trying to look to see if there's anything I can show you that's exciting. Nothing's exciting around me. So I think we're done. Unless anyone has any questions, send um, fall projects. Lori, I'm not just speaking to the camera. I'm speaking to you guys. So I've never been on a video where nobody's been on. So I'm reading comments and everything. Erica is always like the first one on. So she talks to me. Um, I think I couldn't do it if it was like a recording. But because we're live and like people actually are talking to me and asking me questions, like it's different. So yeah, I mean, it's easier if like someone's asking you questions, I guess, in the room or like if anyone has seen me and Jill be silly on um, our page, um, obviously it's easier to do a video together. So, and if you have any other ideas to guys of videos, um, 
like let us know. So we're going to try to do some fun things with our videos, like a challenge. Like I've asked someone locally who's never touched any crafts if they would have me teach them on a live and stuff like that. So you can just send it here on this page, Gay, because it's easier. You're already on Love Sola, so you can send them there. I'll be able to keep them in order. Just make sure you say this is for Dana so Sultan doesn't get confused like what's going on. That's cool, Tiff. At least there's people, right? Carla, you're quiet. Well, it's earlier for you. But yeah, so I'd love to see what you want me to make. And I'll like, don't just be something that it's obvious that you can make it. Like something that maybe you don't know how to do. And I will figure it out. If I don't know how to make it, I'll figure it out. Because I'm pretty good at figuring out how to make stuff. Or sometimes I just go on live when I don't know how to make it. And we like see if I can figure it out. I'm not sure I've had any like major fails, but, but there have been some times I was like, maybe not the best thing I've ever done. So, but I'd like to do that. What if we do something like a challenge for me? Like, I don't know what it's going to be until I get on camera or something like that. What if we do that? I can make Sultan give me um, an idea of a project and send me stuff. What do you think? You think I should do that? Like maybe like get on and like be something that I have never made and like figure it out like on screen and make a fool out of myself. How about a baseball and soccer ball on a board? Yeah, you know, like that would be something I couldn't do very well. <laughs> I'm not an artist. Ah, Lord, no. If someone puts glitter in this like mystery, uh, thing that would be funny. I um would probably just use vinyl because I could never paint that. Or you mean like out of a flower? Because I could probably do that with a twist. I would need to have like a picture sitting next to me because I'm not even sure I really know exactly what a baseball like looks like like exactly you know how like you know what it looks like, but you can't like paint it with all the little stitches and stuff. Okay. They want them in like balls. Out of flowers? In... You mean like a twist and like paint the twist to look like a ball? Thanks, Erica. Did someone ask about centerpieces? I must be missing some comments. Um, so yeah, let's do that. I'm going to have, how about making something, um, what if we do something where like my employees go to the thrift shop, I'll give them my credit card, they can buy like ugly stuff and um, yeah, they can buy ugly stuff and I have to make it pretty with whatever garbage is on my kitchen table. That would be fun. Okay, so here's the two things I would like you to send messages about, okay? First message, tell me what you want me to do for the fall crafting for August. I'm gonna do each week a different fall craft for the month of August. So tell me that. And then also send me different types of challenges or fun things you would want to... <laughs> Be fun things guys Carrie just said she'll send me all her failed balls um yes just like that Tiffany that was horrible um send me ideas for like fun things like like I said I'm already gonna have someone who doesn't craft at all she's gonna come and I'm gonna teach her on camera and we're gonna see and maybe it's gonna be something a little bit hard even because I want to like, I kind of want them to fail. I mean, just a little, little part of me. Or I want to see how good of a teacher I am, right? So come, give me ideas. Definitely give me ideas of things for me to do that are fun. So I think that would be fun if I gave my employees um, my credit card to go to the thrift shop and buy some ugly things and me turn them into something nice. How about that? That would be a good one. And then, um, so yeah, give us ideas, guys, because... Um, obviously I run a very busy business as well. So I've got lots of weddings and stuff. So sometimes 
some of these ideas take the back burner. I've been trying to be very creative. Um, I hope you've enjoyed everything that I've done. Um, but, um, I need like ideas too. So I can't read the comment above Erica. Um, something about camera. Yeah, we have taken the camera with us to the thrift shop and that turned into craziness but I have to go maybe by myself. So the girl, we went to the at-home store and the girl who was the girl who checked me out, she like remembers me now. So every time I go there, she's like, that's the one who's famous with a TV show. I was like, not a TV show, not so famous, but, um, but she thinks it's like exciting. She calls all the managers over and everything. She's like, it's that girl who does the videos. Like anybody can do the videos. Everyone who has a phone can do a live video. It's nothing special, but anyway. So please send your ideas um, so that I can work on it. And that way also, if I need anything um, supplies wise from Sultan, I can get it ahead of time. Um, flowers and stuff, because obviously I use the flowers and the stuff I buy also for my wedding stuff. So um, yeah. Any other questions? comments, concerns, or are we good? Ready to say goodbye? Do our work for the day? Anyone want to come work with me today? Because my employees called out today, so I am stuck alone. Christmas, I'm filling with dry ingredients for cookies, brownies, and yogurt. That's nice. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, we'll do the same thing next month for Christmas stuff. This Dusty Miller from Michaels. Wait, I have the, here, I have the, um, here. Oh, you be safe. It's blurry, hold on. How do we get it not blurry and fill this thing in? Can you see that? Is that like totally blurry, isn't it? It's from Michaels. It looks like this. It's called Dusty Miller, so if you type it in, you'll be able to find it. So... Candice, we made a bunch of boutonnieres today. So, yes. So, the sale's almost over. Code MUM40 for 40% off for about another hour. Yes, I will do that. I'll do that, Erica. I try to keep my tags now because Erica's so good about posting stuff. So, I will do that. Last questions before I say goodbye? No? Okay. We will see you.